Rock Kelly didn't listen. I heard he said he got rich though. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Ism Radio. <laughs> we got the booby boppers over here dancing. <laughs> the booby boppers. <laughs> the booby break dancers. <laughs> but what's up, man? We're here shopping it up game, man. I'm your gracious host. My name is Tariq Nasheed. And over here in the little um, hot pink, we have Layla. What's up, Layla? Woo! I know. <laughs> Got her little white girl moment right now. <laughs> <laughs> and over here looking like a nice little summer snack. Back in from Chicago looking hey. nice and refreshed. For a meal. Yes. We have Miss Bree. How are you, Bree? I am excellent. Hey, guys. What's up? Bree, how was Chicago? Because you, you come back glowing. Something Chicago. happened. Chicago. I mean, you, your, your vibe is just What's refreshed. The I can imagine. It was, the, it was picnics and family and good food and no, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. all type of shit man what all you do out there with it the was family? hot as shit well i ate everything everything that y'all didn't eat because we was moving too fast when we were there but yeah. i got to pop of those i was so excited about that but um there was taraji's husband throws a picnic every year her fiance is oh yeah his fiance. they're not oh, married they're, but they're yeah, yeah. In chicago i didn't know he well was he's yeah he's a former bears player oh okay oh. okay yeah, so um he throws a picnic every year that, I, of course, I, I know nothing about. Um, but I end up going this year, and it was like at least 300 black people. There was no shooting, no fighting, mm. good times, everybody drinking and smoking, having a good time. So I think I seen Is that the one you went to on your Instagram? You put a yeah. little bit on there? I seen it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that it shit was fun. live. I was like, hell, I want to be hey. Dudes was jumping out of bushes like, hey, <laughs> how you doing? Where you been? I have I haven't seen you jumping in a while. Out of bushes. They was I letting they was letting me in free everywhere. Like I people like was recognizing me, and I'm like, Layla is missing out. Fucking yeah. lame, man. I know. <laughs> Only because I was telling y'all my cousin, yeah, your, my cousin yeah. died, right. and I had to go to a funeral. But and there's a lot of family shit going on. But I wanted to go. I really yeah, did. Chicago was a good time, though. It's always a good. I time. see they they have some bomb block parties out there. It looks Damn. like, like yes. I, I saw another female friend of mine from uh, Chicago. And she was at a block party. That shit looked like it was cracking. It was so High part. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. They keeping it copacetic because it's our age group. Yeah. Right. And that's what that's what the key thing is. When you start getting to 19 and 20 year olds and then yeah. they bring them bangers out, it'd be a whole nother yeah. story. Yeah. So. We too yeah. old to be. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. Motherfuckers is yeah. gonna fight. Baby. Yeah. Alpha right is hurting and you trying to duck a bullet. <laughs> 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 You scratching up your bunions running. That ain't no good fucking <laughs> yeah, look. Yeah, it was a good time. That's man, good. man, man. So did you did you get any romance out there, exactly. Bree? That's that, we're trying to get all up in your business. I know, you know, I did not. Because you I, come in looking all supple. I, 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 <laughs> No, That's I the think, word for the I day, supple. Some, That's oh, what I'm no, thinking. She's looking a little too fucking supple. No, I did not. I'm sorry. I, I mean, like, I'm telling y'all, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for myself. Um... <laughs> But yeah. there's a lot of cute guys. That's what I realized about Chicago. When we went out there, I was like, I would have a husband if I lived here. Mm. Yeah, you probably Easy. would. Yeah. Easy. And there was some, like, really good dudes, like, hollering at me. But it's like, man, I'm about to go oh, <laughs> in a couple true. days. Very so true. it was just like, that's whatever. Mm-hmm. But, um, yes, it was a good time. No, no nookie oh. for me. Oh, boo, oh, boring. So fellas, Wasted trip. No, I'm joking. So <laughs> listeners, shoot your shot. No, quit telling them to shoot your damn shot. <laughs> No. You're Lord. supposed to do speed dating, Tariq. What the hell I happened know. in that? I know. We're still going to get that pop. They popping. can't shoot their shot unless it's in person. Man. Right. So that's I right. can block that shit ah. like the Kimba. <laughs> <laughs> Some people always hit me up, Brie blocked me. Tell them to block me. I was like, I said, if Brie blocked you, it's for a good reason. Yeah, they be asking me that. How come Brie blocking yeah. me, man? I just, they ask me why you 
block them too. Yeah, like, I just asked what that mouth do. I just it's some most stupid ass shit. Like, nigga, really? That's why you got blocked. We the block family. We <laughs> oh, you know, I didn't start it blocking folks finally. You did? I find because I used to tell Bri, I was like, I never have to block people, but now shit. people are getting real aggressive. But mm-hmm. I, I oh, didn't yeah. used to get these aggressors. That people getting crazy now. Hell yeah, yeah. That summertime thirst is a motherfucker with these right. niggas. Out here. Yeah. Speaking of crazy. Man, so what's going on in the news, Layla? R. Kelly. Hoo-hoo. Lord, 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 Lord. This nigga. 40 R. minutes Kelly. of my life wasted. That's yeah, what I was telling yeah, him. She listened to two, that song twice. <laughs> he did a 19-minute song confessing to a lot of stuff. Did you hear it, Jerome? I heard it. Because Brie. You Have heard you heard it, Brie? I did not listen to it. No, okay. I've heard of it. Okay. So y'all don't feel just a little bit sorry for this fool. Just a little yeah. bit. You know what? The thing about the song, a lot of people are kind of flipping what it meant. Well, he was admitting a lot of stuff except any type of criminal activity. That was the whole. He, he was trying he to be. Can't, ar- he can't read. Right. Right. He was trying to be ironic. Like, look, I'll admit to all this other stuff, but I didn't do what people are accusing me of. But yeah. people kind of got and said, hey, he just admitted to fucking them kids. So, you know, hey. What do you think about the part where he said people were pushing their daughters off on me. Right, Which yeah. I kind of believe because people will I sell know, that. I know for a fact that's true. I know yeah. that's true. Yeah. But yeah. that but doesn't that, mean you got to take the bait. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell, say, shit. I was just about to say, that don't mean shit, yeah. though. It don't mean nothing. You, people try to sell me crack. I ain't going to smoke it. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> So that's no excuse at all. What about him molested as a child? Yeah, yeah. He said something about he was touched as a kid. So he was, you know, admitting a lot of stuff. And, he, you know, he admitted that he was illiterate. And people, that's kind of been known what? in the industry mm-hmm. for a long time. I and out, out there. Yeah. You didn't know that? No, why is, why is so many pe- men his age illiterate? Like, what happened? That's, yeah. Uh, during um, that generation, like. Something, usually something traumatic happens. You know, he's, he was molested. Yeah. And, you know, that, that kind of fucks with him. Yeah, yeah, that kind of fucks with him. He was on his own for, since he was like 11. He also was saying, like, um, his publishing, they took all, you know, because he's illiterate. Yeah. He yeah. sold all, he his all his publishing. publishing. He right. said the only reason why he's touring right now is for money. money. That's the only money he can get. Yeah. He was saying, um, basically, all, he, he was saying, like, shit, like he, uh, Used to have sex with his homeboy's wife, and he's yeah. just a dirtbag. Yeah, like he's yeah doing that little creep squad dirtbag type shit. And yeah. he said he had has dyslexia. That might be a contributing Damn. factor to. He needs a therapist. That's why I kind of like I feel bad for him. But then again, but I also had to think about what you be saying, Tariq. How you say how us as black people, we're so hard on each other. Yeah. Like, perfect example, Demi Lovato. She, yeah. she has a heroin overdose yeah. right now. Oh, she yeah. just went into the hospital for a heroin overdose, right? Yeah. Who? Demi, Demi Lovato. Demi Lovato. Yeah. This just happened like an hour ago. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, I feel like her supporters Damn. are going to be like, oh, my God, poor Demi. But she's a drug addict. Right. Kind of like Demi Lovato, the the little. Yes. Um, from Disney. Yes. Seriously. The singer. Yes. Yeah, yeah. The she's, singer. yeah. She's in the hospital now. Right now yeah, for a heroin that. overdose. But yeah. I thought she had, like, some type of terminal illness. Like. No, she's always been on drugs. She's always been a heavy. Y'all know that, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. She's always been a heavy drug user on and off Is of drugs. Is this the Demi that was dating, dating um, Justin Bieber? No, she was dating um, that Spanish guy from that 70s show. Not Bilder, yes. He, is he Spanish? Yeah, he's Spanish. Velderama. Yeah. Velderama. You sure he's not East Indian? Layla? No, I swear to add, no, he's Spanish for sure. Uh, like, he did uh, have an East Indian accent. Uh, chat room. Let yeah, Layla no, be good. Layla, no, let me ask the chat room because no, Layla no, asked me getting shit. No, because my cousin know him. That's how oh, I know okay, him. Back she Hold knows. on, I'm about to Wikipedia this shit right now. <laughs> no, Layla no. be getting the shit so wrong. Hold he on. He is, I swear he's Mexican or he's in the Spanish Descent. He's in Spanish descent. He's How not. How do you pronounce that nigga name? Wilder. Yeah. Wilder Valderrama. Wilder. Wilder Valderrama. Yeah. He is Spanish guy. From what was the show he had? That '70s show. No, the, his Ooh. own show. Oh, he did have another show. He used to be like, "You're about to get something." What does it say? What does it say? I don't. Because my cousin. Um, let me see. Remind me, Florida. Venezuela, okay. His people Venezuela, from Venezuela. Venezuela. Got Colombian and Venezuela. Okay, boom, Layla boom, got something boom. right. Let's give it. Yes, yes. Woo! Go to hell and go to really hell. <laughs> Man. But um, hopefully she'll be all right, you yeah. know. But yeah. my point my point in saying that was basically saying that how her supporters, they're going to be yeah. like, oh, poor Demi, but that she's a heroin addict. Yeah. Kind of like R. Kelly, like, do we support, do we not necessarily support him, but do we not be so hard? Because this man needs therapy. Yeah. Why yeah. can't we just say, damn, this man needs help? And yeah. that's something in the black community. I've seen a whole show about this, how mental, this man can be mentally ill. And in the black community, we do not Address it. We're like, oh, he just crazy. But he you just know lives. what? We you, never do it's shit. It's hard to it's hard to say 
for you to say this man is mentally ill when he is is a musical genius. Like some of the right. shit he's produced is literally. I think most of the geniuses are mentally ill though, straight up. I think so what you trying to say about me? You know I'm a genius. Right? And I think you're fucking nuts. <laughs> <laughs> I think Tariq is crazy as hell. I think you real crazy. Yeah, that's, that's true. Man. There's a touch of crazy in every genius. <laughs> yeah, especially if you're black living in a system of racism. It's, that's right. All true. of us are crazy as cat shit. He so mentioned it's like, that too. Yeah, so a lot of us are like, nigga, stand in line. You know, that's how yeah, exactly. the attitude is. Oh, very yeah. true. Yeah. So yeah. what do you think about it overall, Tariq? Do you think, like, at this point, do we just not necessarily support him? Do we just not say shit? Do we just not be like, okay, R. Kelly, just go on by? Well, like, that's what he needs is the support. He needs people to keep coming to his show so he can make money. So it's like, what do you do in this Yeah, situation? it's kind of like I'm torn. Like, I feel like he's a dirt bag but then right. I feel like because yeah anything it, well niggas are fucking with kids right. you know what I'm saying I'm like cool. alright nigga that ain't yeah. cool at all I can't go sign that type of shit yeah that's crazy but what's, what they're accusing him of now is like you know having a bunch of girlfriends and you know yeah that's they, what he said yeah so it's all in the it's all over the place it's mm. all over the place so I, I, I really he waited too long yeah, yeah. he yeah. waited too long and let too many rumors build up and right he, and ran then, out of money and, and, yeah and then you want to do a 19 minute song <laughs> please <laughs> <laughs> he should have did that before yeah, well, he did in the closet it, or put it, that shit. Right. Exactly. Why are you doing it in the closet? Nigga? You should have been this. Man, so um, Bree, what else is happening out here? I have some Black Girl Magic news. And, oh, cool. And yes. Black Girl Magic news, Black Woman Magic. Um, the first woman to earn her PhD in nuclear engineering from MIT oh, is a black woman. Her name is Marina Robinson Snowden. Okay. And yeah, she. She earned her PhD in nuclear engineering. What what city does she live in? She is Oh, she did undergrad at Florida AM. And I don't it don't say what city she lives in, I'm sure. And what she look what she look like? She's actually really cute. She, she actually look like Peanut. Oh, what? Yeah, she's, cute. Let me see. she's hella cute. Let me, I okay. Her. Oh yeah, I saw this. Yeah, I yeah, saw this. She's cute. Yeah, yeah, because usually a lot of them girls be getting all them PhDs. They be looking like Tracy Morgan. Shut up! I knew you was gonna say <laughs> I thought she was gonna say Gabby Sidibe. No, I saw no. <laughs> I saw a woman. She she had been the first woman to receive something that she kind of looked like Gabby. Damn. T- to read on poor Gabby. I know. Well, shout out to Gabby. Sidibe. <laughs> Always. Oh no. Well, shout out to Gabby. She's I doing her thing. What so, about Mink Slide, though? Oh, yeah. Man, Mink, look, Mink Slide, our album came out, and our album is like number, the number one R&B song, or album on Google Play right now. Woo! Yeah, That's man. Great. Sir. Man, shout out to the family. People really, really, really love the album. Yes. And we, we tried to make an album that was classic. We tried to make an album that was thorough. Um, it was like number three on iTunes. It's number two on Amazon and uh, the best-selling R&B. And this is going up against the major yeah, label crazy. stuff. You dig? So a lot of folks were shocked that it, it went down like that. Yeah, you was still... up there with her. I was like, okay, yeah. Tariq. Like, yeah. I love her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And the internet just released yeah, the album. Yeah, and I like them. They're good. They're yeah, very good. Yeah, the internet is bomb they're, shit. They're, they're the shit. Mm-hmm. And... Um, but we were competing with the internet and some Asian R&B group. It's like this Asian R&B group called 88 Rising, and they're real big internationally. I'm like, God damn. And damn. this is why I wanted to do R&B, because you got all these other people who, when you think of R&B, you got Asians and all these non-black people right. claiming our shit. Right. Because we'll we'll do a project or we'll do a genre, and then we'll walk away from it because we're always creating new things. But we have to hold on to a lot of shit that we do so that we can still control it. Mm-hmm. Because when it comes to R&B now, a lot of times you think Justin Timberlake. Very true. What's that that thick white po- woman, Post, Adele? Post Malone. Yeah, Post Malone. Yeah. His shit is like on the top yeah. of the R&B charts yeah. too. So, you know, we just got to reclaim our stuff. And I, I, I shout out to everybody who got the Mink Slide album. You guys can get it also at um, iTunes at Google Play and let's make this thing pop off. It's really good. I'm not it's just saying I, I yeah. wish I didn't know you because I'm like I really I'm not being biased because I know you. That shit is bomb. It's a good and album. you know I love R&B. Yes. I'm like an R&B head. I love R&B. Man, so it's, dope. it's a very cool album. I'm, I was getting my inner Freddie Jackson on it. That fucking <laughs> album, nigga. I was getting it without the moisture. Though. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, I had my son listening to it. He was all singing because he loves music too. It yeah, cute. and it's a clean album. It's n- we don't have anything explicit, and that's another thing we wanted to go back to that old '80s feel where it was the shit was kind of it was clean. It, yeah. it wasn't like I'm gonna suck your ass tonight. Yeah, it wasn't that, yeah. Yeah, none yeah. of that shit. Yeah, so I miss that kind of R and B too. Yeah, that's yeah. album too, right? Um, the suck your ass part. No, no. <laughs> Are you gonna do that part? <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, you had a two disc. <laughs> <laughs> the second album, you gotta go a little more raunchy. <laughs> Oh, no, no, I'm going to keep that shit <laughs> real, real clean. <laughs> oh, Layla. So what else is happening out here, Layla? Um, Let's see. What do y'all 
think about the whole uh I know this is last week, but we weren't here because somebody <clears throat> I know, nigga. I told can't, us not to come I can't, and um I, I could have came. Yes, I forgot last week that, you know, um Bree was out of town. I came in, I was mad than a motherfucker because y'all were late. <laughs> Me and Isn't about sitting up here like, where are they? <laughs> 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 I'm like, where in the fuck are they? I'm like, wait a minute. Oh, I ain't even supposed to be in here. Okay. Side show yeah. as fuck. I yes. swear to God, Tariq. Um, yeah, Stevie J and uh, Faith Evans. Got married. Yeah, they got married in Vegas in a hotel room. And what do y'all, I just want to know. John, do you y'all know? think that could be a publicity stunt for the show? I don't. You don't think so? <gasps> what show? Um, shit, his yep, show? His show, yeah. He's not on Love and Hip Hop anymore. But he has the Stevie J thing, that show. He does, and they, I, I feel... Jo- mm. Jocelyn was legit mad, so oh, she word. was legit mad. Like, mm, mm, she mm. started, as soon as they, as soon as the word hit the, the internet, she went Yeah, because that was like a couple crazy. years ago, remember? What was a couple years remember ago? Remember when Jocelyn, uh, remember when she bleached Stevie J's clothes, when he when he was in LA working with Faith? This was like two years ago. She bleached his clothes um, because he was working with Faith Evans in the studio. And I was thinking, damn, it has to be more to that story. Damn, he just worked with the girl in the studio. Yeah, but they used to mess around back in the day. See, I didn't know that. Yeah. And that's interesting because, you know. Was Biggie? Yes, yeah, Stevie produced Biggie. And, and Stevie was there when, when Biggie got shot. You know? He was there. He See, was, I didn't he was, know he was, that. He was, he was with him. He was um at that club. I wow. think he was at that. Yeah, he was at the club. I think. What I, do you think about that? Oh man, that's. It's I, been twenty years. Yeah. You but, used to be friends with this guy, and then you go remarry. Not just his side hole, but what his wife. Yeah. Is that cool? It, uh, I don't. Yeah, that's a good question. Would you care? I mean, you'd be dead. But I mean, yeah, he, <laughs> like, how, dead. how can any? How can he care? Yeah. No, but how does that make him Stevie look and her look? Because you know we we gotta look at both sides. It's like okay, y'all, my dude, we were cool. My dude died, and you got his wife years later. But y'all been knowing each other for twenty something years. You guys have a real bond. You guys been through ups and downs, so you guys know each other better than most people. So there could be a genuine connection. So I have there. a question for you. Yes, yes. God forbid anything ever happened to you. Right, right, right. If you have a very, I don't know all your close friends, but you have, if you had a really, really close friend, right, and you knew that this close friend would take care of your wife and kids, would you rather her be with him or a random Joe Blow? Uh, yeah, I wouldn't want my dude. I would feel funny about that. I'd be like, How would you have any feeling if you're not here? I'll like, be like speak. Patrick Swayze <laughs> in Ghost, <laughs> like a motherfucker <laughs> slapping that nigga. Damn. <laughs> you don't know what's hitting me. Like, damn, you know, something like, some just punched me outside your where? house. Like, shit. <laughs> <laughs> where does the feeling come from when no, when there's no one there to feel? Not so anything. at this point, it's literally like how each person feels at that moment and whether they give a damn or not about your opinion. Mm. Because that's all it is. Everybody's opinion. The only thing, I just hope he don't do her bad the way he does other women. Right, <laughs> if right, you don't take right, that right. leap and marry somebody that's close to you's wife, don't fucking shit on her. Like, that's, that's all I true. That's yeah. all I feel. Yeah. 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 She's yeah. like a... Other than that, live your mother. Exactly. So, Bree, what else is happening out here in the streets? So, I don't really... So, I want to talk about this, but it's the pettiest shit I've read on the internet oh, in a long time. But it has something to do with somebody's man oh, and they wife. Mm. So, y'all know 50 Cent and uh, oh, Lord, yeah. uh, yes. and Floyd is beefing again. Yes. And this yes. beef is getting a little deep. They're yes. getting heavy. They're going at it Ooh, heavy. Yeah. And you know 50 is petty king. Yeah. So, I don't know this story fully. I halfway remember hearing this story. So, is P. Rilla the husband or is Earl the husband? I don't the, know. The one that died was the P. Rilla guy. P. Rilla. That's, that was the husband that shot her. And then shot and the Yeah. Okay, right. Okay, y'all explain to me. Right. Like, so, like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> if I don't know, they don't know. <laughs> now, who was P. Rilla? Okay, so 50 Cent was basically dry snitching when they were going back and forth on Instagram, Twitter, whatever. And he was saying, like, a couple years ago, a guy had shot his wife shot. and shot himself. His name was P. Rilla. Okay. And the reason why 50 Cent is saying the guy shot his wife and himself is because he got into an argument with Floyd over the phone and the girl. Like, oh, I'm gonna call this nigga right now. You was fucking with him. Blah, 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 blah. Wait, wait, wait. Now, somebody said, you're gonna. Wait, somebody said, Earl is the one who died. Exactly. That's Earl? what I thought. Uh oh. The Layla getting it wrong. Okay, let's, let's, let's let Bree explain oh. it. No, and I'm, and I'm trying no, to explain it the best way I can okay, because re- it's pieced together. But so, what, to my knowledge, is Earl and Stephanie were married. Okay. Um, And, and Earl Floyd, and Stephanie were friends of Floyd. Yeah, Floyd. Okay. Yeah, okay. Earl is like one of Floyd's 
like right hand men. Okay. Um, and so he found out that they were, you know, there was something going on between them. And when they were in the moment, having this moment, you know, having this argument, he FaceTimed Floyd because I remember like when the story dropped that Floyd being on FaceTime, that was like a big mm -hmm. thing. Everybody, all the news stations were saying like, yeah, he was on FaceTime with Floyd. And I was just like, that's kind of weird to be on FaceTime with your best friend and then kill your wife. Yeah. 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 So that, and, and, and so nobody ever said the reason he was on FaceTime with Floyd. Oh. And so 50 released, it, you know, saying the reason he was on FaceTime because he was arguing with you about fucking his wife. Oh, damn. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Okay. Now wow. it went that deep, but Floyd put out that 50 got herpes from his baby mama. Right. With uh, the, the Daphne. Was it the Daphne? That. That. So she got mm. herpes? Damn. I be seeing I mean, her all the time at the play place. Let me be quiet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the play place. Yeah. I mean, who's to say what, who has what, but yeah. they should. Share way too much information between each other. They going in, and, and yeah, Floyd was talking lie. about fifty money ain't like it's supposed oh, to be. Yeah. They fifty living in an apartment, yep. and that house in Connecticut is dilapidated, yeah. and you know it was a dump. It was losing money. He ain't got no hits. The only reason people watch Power is because of Ghost. I mean, Floyd yeah, was getting went, it in. Yeah, he went in. And Fifty was like, "Well, he had somebody write that shit for him." <laughs> <laughs> Did you see the rough draft he put up here? <laughs> They, and, these niggas are going at it. Heavy. And they're going to kiss and make up at the end of all of this. That's I, what's crazy. I know. I know. So They're like brothers. You know how you just go. But they just, it's too, yeah, that's too far. They yeah, that's they far yeah, Way yeah. too far. People dying. Especially bringing, yeah, so. two dead people into the situation. Right. You know, like. Yeah. Man, mm, man, man. That shit was nasty. Man, man. So, um, Layla, what else is happening? Um, Let's talk about Miss M. Hey, my phone is ringing right now. Uh -oh. And that's like, and like, why? Yeah. <sighs> Can I tell you about, I should tell you why my phone's ringing. But I'm oh, like, why is it ringing? No, I'm just saying, I feel like when you give people an inch, they take like fucking a football foot. yard. Uh oh. Like, like I can't. Mm. Like, seriously. <laughs> Like, for real, I just feel I like... I hope whoever that is is watching. I know. You're going no, yes. to feel that energy. Yes. No, I'm just saying, like, if I say don't FaceTime me or don't call me or don't do something and you continue to do it, that means you're just saying, fuck what I'm saying. Because mm. I personally don't FaceTime. Mm. I don't FaceTime. And, and people always want to FaceTime me. And I said, don't ever FaceTime me unless you, like, text me and say, hey, like, can we FaceTime Get an me? Android then. Right. You don't want to FaceTime. <laughs> <laughs> and then you just keep doing it until you think I'm going to answer. Oh, damn. You just keep calling. And I just never answer, but you just keep doing it. Wait, wait, I just wanted to show you I just got out the shower. You know what I mean? <laughs> The niggas forcing a FaceTime on you. I just, mm -hmm. so I just, I just don't, it's only don't like it because it's like, fuck what I say. Man, man, And that man. shows a, a lot about your personality. And guys, this is why I don't fucking have a man. Am I, am I extra, y'all? I'm being extra <laughs> now. I'm being extra. Man. Okay. So, so let's, let's, let's give us a story. What's going on out here? <sighs> so Amber Rose got an app. Okay. And it's for, um, what it's going to do, it's going to actually pay um, women's rent as well as send them, pay for their college tuition. And it's gonna be uh -huh. called mm. yeah 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 and it's uh it's gonna be called um, Amber Rose Community App and yeah that's what it's called and uh, she's basically it's for like it's a women empowerment app. So how does it pay your rent? She, yes, get that, down no, to the bottom of that. Y'all yeah. can look this up. I verified this over and over again. Uh, she's actually paying this out of her pocket. So I don't know if she's gonna do it as a tax write off, but this is coming from her pocket. She said she's. It can't be. She, she ain't she, holding like that. That's what she <sighs> said, yo, guys. I swear to God. She it has said, to be funded and, from somebody. I'm trying so to say. And first of all, you know, every woman in America is about to buy that, sign up for that app. Yeah. She didn't say she was doing it. For Amber ain't holding like that. Because all, all she has to do is do it for like literally one person and say she's doing it. You get what I'm saying? So she said that um, it's called the Amber Rose Community app. And she's basically. And oh, the first thing she's going to do is she's going to fly three of her biggest fans out to her slut walk next year. Oh, it's for, that it's really, like it's, fun. It's really. <laughs> I'm just trying to see how she's gonna fund. You know, what's she gonna maybe, fly them out to do? Are they gonna do something strange for some change? Lord, oh is she God. the <laughs> Madam Amber? What's she about to do? <laughs> she get there and be like, "Here's your knee pads." Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Man, so yeah, I gotta look and see, you know, how they're funding that. But shout out to Amber, she had that other app, that mother, mother something, mother, mother emoji, yeah. you know. So you know, she's building yeah, she's her brand. Doing it. She, she said she's paying for it out of her pocket though, so maybe, um, maybe she got a loan. Maybe she's funding it through something else. But she's saying she's paying for it out of her pocket, so I just like. Yeah. So that's her app. She keeps it going. Did you just though. wake up one day and was like, I'm going to pay somebody's rent today? No, but Amber, this is another I thing. Like Amber will say something 
that ain't necessarily true. Like, oh, really? Yeah, because remember, she started talking about she bought King of Diamonds or one of those. Yeah. Yeah, remember that? She yeah. Did. Yeah, she said she bought a strip club. She's like, yeah, I used to be a stripper and now I own a strip club. No, and she definitely don't own King yeah, of Diamonds. Yeah, they That's were like, sure. you don't own this fucking, the, the owners was like, you didn't buy this damn club. You're right. Yeah, so she'll say some shit and I guess sometimes it'll, you know, try to get it publicity or whatever and make it go viral and then try to capitalize off of it like that. Mm. So, we, I don't know. Yeah, you did. Um, what is going on, Bree? I don't know what the hell going on in Oakland oh, yeah. or the Bay Area, or whichever one is called. Which is which is called the Bay Area? The same Oakland. thing. All of it. All of that. Oakland, all San Francisco, it. Berkeley. That's the yeah, Bay Area. Yeah, it's like every every couple days or every couple weeks you hear a story about a black person, a black innocent person being slain at the hands of a white supremacist. Yeah, yeah. And the latest are the two young girls at Bart. Um, train station um, Tashia Tush- and Nia mm-hmm. yeah yeah um, you know all the details of this story because you've been posting about yeah. it yeah I was um, helping to break that story when it was happening yeah um, this white supremacist who we think that he's connected to the skinheads because when he there was surveillance of him wearing these boots with black boots with white, white strings sh- yep. and that's something that skinheads wear mm-hmm. that's like an initiation thing until they get their red um, strings and so this was their, definitely yeah this is a definitely they acquire their red strings by killing, by killing a black, black person. person yeah yeah by spilling blood that's what the, the red strings mean so mm-hmm. it's definitely a racial attack and the media and the news they're acting dumb like oh it was so random it wasn't mm-hmm. random yeah. this dude changed clothes he was it was a very premeditated um, murder and you know the city of Oakland turned up. Um, there was a, a, a rally yesterday um, at this pub where one white supremacist group called the Proud Boys, who many mm-hmm. people think are connected to this guy, they were supposed to show up. And I think some of them were there, but the people they there jumped. Like they, they, yeah, they caught they caught one and beat the brakes off his ass. Yeah, as they should. As they should. As yeah. they should. But this is why we got to keep an eye on these white supremacist groups, and we and not just. These white supremacist groups, just random white supremacist, period. Yeah. All these people coming up to black folks, instigating this bullshit. Like, hey, you're selling lemonade. I'm going to call the cops. We're going to have to look at those people as a damn threat. Let's not sit up and play games and argue with them. Either get on the phone with the, po- the police and say, hey, I'm being harassed, or yeah. you beat the brakes off their ass right then and there and then bounce. But just don't sit back and let these people try to provoke you into something where they're going to start acting like a victim and then call yep. the police and all that. We're going to have to take these folks real seriously. And the thing about those type of people is they look like random everyday white Karens and yeah. Susies and you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like these ladies that are approaching black. First of all, the balls that you have to approach a black woman and say, oh, I hear you selling food stamps. Like that girl could have beat the shit out of you right where you stand. Yeah. Just because of your approach. Yeah. And yeah. then I saw another lady approaching. She was um in Berkeley approached a, a telling some black people to get out of here. You're not wanted here. Right, get out of here. right, right, right. And right. they actually Called the, the police, police and, and they the, are police arrest. arrested her. Yes. Put her ass on the ground. Yes. So again, we're gonna have to start being offensive with a lot of stuff that we do. We're gonna yeah. have to start being proactive in the way we handle these folks so we can neutralize that threat. Just like when they came down here to LA, the Proud Boys tried to have something at um and the Oath Keepers tried to do something at Maxine Waters office yep. down in mm-hmm. South Central mm-hmm. and them brothers ran them all the way up out of LA. So we gotta be on that type of shit, you know. But it is what it is. Um, Layla, what else is going on out here? What is up with your boy, <clears throat> Takashi? Is he lying? A lot of, yeah, Takashi said that he got robbed and kidnapped and beaten. Then he took a picture in the hospital, laying on the hospital bed with the <laughs> rainbow hair and all the. Did you hear the and last? Then he didn't have no bruise no more. All of a sudden, yeah, yeah, I know the bruise, bruise went away. Gone. I'm like, what? This nigga. But guess what? The police is trying to confirm this shit is true. Right, because they don't know if it's true or no, not. No, the surveillance. They said this morning it came out. The police were saying there is some surveillance. The story that he was saying, like, oh, they threw me in the back of the car. They said it matches up to his story. Okay. Or is he? Do Do you feel like the police are just like? Working with him? Or? Uh, uh, you know, we never know. We know who the hell is at my house. Uh, somebody's trying to get in my gate. But yeah, you never know. You never know with that dude because he he trolls a lot and and it's very convenient for him to get beat up and kidnapped on the same day he got a single with Nicki Minaj yeah, coming out. Right. The same exact day. Yeah, because the police are trying to say, oh yeah, the, we we got surveillance cameras on the street. We looked at him and it's matching up. Mm. 
And yeah. then he said it was an ins- he said it was like somebody in his circle, right? Because they knew where he lived at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh it's, my. it's a joke. He's yeah. a joke. Uh, yeah, you dig, but you know, if somebody got at him. I would think they would get at him a little harder than that. And, exactly. That, that, that's yeah. the only thing. Yeah. That I was like. Mm, yeah. No, yeah. No. And plus, the way he was looking in the hospital bed, it just looked it? like one of them fake. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, my good side. <laughs> Yeah, you can tell him. My, my no, motherfucker knocked out. Not. You know, motherfucker be looking Bro, crazy. Bro, I didn't look hella fake. I did. It looked like he was so was, fake. Like, baby, wait. Yeah. People don't be kind of trying to look sexy knocked out in sleep. <laughs> I know, remember when we were on, we on tour and I took I snuck a picture of Layla in the car? Remember that? Yeah. Well, Layla. <laughs> Mouth wide, wide open. open. <laughs> I got pictures of her sleep too. Mouth yeah, we got, wide yes. open. You gotta post that, bro. No, no. <laughs> that's why. I, if I do something bad, y'all can post it. No, but no. That's not hor- I look so horrible when I sleep because I I go on the deepest sleep. Y'all. It's <laughs> no. so bad. My mouth be open. It Why like, open? Yeah. Like, you can pour a Pepsi in that. Know, like. got, <laughs> with like jambalaya crumbs. <laughs> <laughs> like damn girl <laughs> I know I'll be gone you guys I'll be so knocked up man 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 so what else is happening out here Bree so I don't I, this is real random and TMZ posted it so I don't know how true it <laughs> is so stupid yeah. <laughs> But Destiny's <laughs> child, Michelle Williams, checks into a mental health facility. I believe it. Yeah, I believe I'll that. Believe Poor that. Michelle. Why do y'all believe that? I do. I, I do. It too. Ma- ma- yeah, because Michelle, she's she's struggling. I mean, she oh, was struggling. What? I mean, she would just hold, just she would struggle in the group. You know, you know this. <laughs> she fell down she, like she'd four She'd be times. falling down all the time. You're like, poor thing. She falls down a lot. All the time. She does. Okay. She's she's fucking clumsy. up the dance moves. She's clumsy. She's her her rhythm is off. But oh like, my god. Mental people health facility. People are blaming her dude on on it. What yeah, you think about that, that? that white dude. She, yeah, I, I wouldn't put it past. Yeah, yeah, because he's real blaming. funny style. You know, yeah. Yeah, I, funny style like how? Like I, I'm so <laughs> this dude. Yeah, him, to this story. He, okay. Yeah, she got engaged to this white dude. Well, I know that part, yeah. but like... But we did some background research on his ass, and his family racist as fuck. Really? What? Yeah, his family is on... The, they're that we stand for the flag type of bullshit. Oh, okay. You know what those I'm saying? Kind, There's okay. those kind yeah, of people. Yeah, yeah. And he's one of those... Him too, he's one of these people that we got to support the police no matter what. It's that type of oh, thing. You know what I'm like saying? It's not outwardly like, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh, I don't like no, black No, it's not like nigga, 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 nigga. Yeah, no, yeah, it's yeah. that right. whole coded thing uh-huh. that's more dangerous. Oh, right, that, yeah. That's that coded shit that's uh-huh. very dangerous. So, yeah, we did a whole expose on that dude, and his his thing is real funny style. So no telling what's going on behind closed doors. What does he do for a living? He's a preacher. Oh, yeah. yeah, he's a minister. He's okay. a minister. Yeah, so. Because I'm your... just like, you know, she do her gospel albums, and, you know, she sell her little records. It just seemed like Beyonce or Kelly would go crazy, you know, have mental health issues before Michelle. No. Because they're dealing with so much more, so much more pressure, so, you know, they it's a grander scale, so it's just like I mean, you know, I can't knock nobody's mental health, but it's just it's yeah, because so you, random you to me. never know right. what people never know how you grew up. See, that's what be yeah, telling me true. about people. You don't know what's going on, no matter how somebody's smiling or being sad. You that's just true. don't know what's going on in folks' head. Yeah, you that's just true. don't fucking know. Yeah, yeah. So hopefully, I mean, I, yeah. yeah, hopefully she'll be all right. Yeah, you know, we're rooting for her because even though she's clumsy, you still like her. I like her. <laughs> I do. I like, I like her. Yeah, yeah, I like Michelle because she's I trying. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? She's trying. <laughs> you like she's. She ain't the best, you know, but she's trying. She's trying to. She's a little. <laughs> she's a little Negro that could. You know. <laughs> <laughs> you know? So shout yeah, out to good, her. Good enough to get in the group. Yeah. Huh? Well, yeah. Yeah. Whatever. Uh, um, yeah. I mean, shit. You know, <laughs> being in Destiny Child was that was some stressful some, shit. I was about to say that was probably traumatizing in itself. Yeah, because my girl Farrah, she was in there. You know, oh, yeah, right. yeah, Farrah's on my old book cover. Right. Yeah. You said she got in trouble. Yeah, they, for, they, they for being her on. Out. Yeah, for being on the book cover on my book, The Art of Mac. But Mac-Ann. it wasn't even that bad. It wasn't that bad at all. But Matthew was on some some bullshit. They wanted to get her out anyway. That let's, was the whole thing. Let's get Matthew up here. I know, and Matthew. That you oh, see Bree, how he getting down now. Bree this nigga, Bree like, he's seventy years old with <laughs> with two year old babies and shit, <laughs> <laughs> crying. Oh my god. <laughs> you know yeah. But um, anyway, um, Bree, what else is going on out here, dear? So, Love and Hip Hop Hollywood came on yesterday. Oh, I heard, I heard, I heard. I heard Lord Kay have Mich- mercy. 
I've been waiting on this season, and uh, you know, you want to know the reason I've been waiting is because of our guest and and his situation with Tierra. Like yeah. that was juicy to me. Yeah. Oh, but it gets juicier. Oh damn! Yeah. And, damn. and I never thought I would watch Love and Hip Hop Hollywood because I, it wasn't that great last. But this season is. I didn't think I would be fire. Into, yeah, because I don't like I don't, fire. I don't like all the ratchet shit. Yeah, but there is so much shit going on. Do y'all did y'all see K Michelle call a IV? Oh, she called in the IV yep. to her rehearsal because she was stressing over an argument she was having with Lyrica. Oh, damn. I've damn. never seen. First of all, you come into this unsanitized place and put an IV in her. Oh, and God. it's because of her, the stuff that's in her ass. Yeah, she has a, she removed oh. her booty shot. So ever since she's had the booty shot, she said she went to the same doctor that everybody goes to in Atlanta in a hotel room. Oh, damn. And they inject. It's not even legal, obviously. Oh, it's she, a, she, she got, got the fake, those yeah, kinds. Okay. Said, but she went way before yeah. all before, of them. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. And she so said she got that garbage. Pro- yeah. yeah. She said she has been having health problems, and she has to go back and forth and, and back and forth. And she's having trouble and even and having it. She was saying she's having so much trouble even having it taken out. Mm, so she mm. has to get, uh, like, an IV every now and then to stay hydrated. God damn. Yeah. And but that's came. not even the juice. That's not even all the juice. Mm. She accused Lyrica of having sex with Safari. She did oh damn yeah damn she really first, did first and, so do you believe her who do you believe that Kay, do you believe that lyrica and safari really had some little flirtation thing going on yeah because she passed them because k michelle was pretty adamant i mean people lie and shit but she was like okay so this just came from the sky yeah the, it, I and i feel like there's always truth to like a little bit of rumors that comes mm. from somewhere kind of sort of right i really wouldn't no. pass Mm, that's Be- crazy because her husband looked pretty moved. So like he years, tried to act like he wasn't moved, but he was moved. Yeah, a one. Yeah, it, he yeah. was moved. He wanted to fight. Um, he wanted to fight Safari, and oh, he damn. knew because Safari, I think, on the preview, kind of admitted that they were. Well, that's how they edited it anyway. Yeah, they made it seem like Safari was like, yeah, you know, we was texting or whatever, and then uh, a one jumped across the table. Oh, damn. I was like, this is nuts. This, but is it real? Because sometimes some of that shit is so scripted. You know, like even when you look at the reunion. Some of this shit, those They'll fights. They'll be laughing about yeah. it. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you so, know, I just, I, everybody just see, I don't, either some great acting going on. But even the audience is fake in those reunions. You see, like, they'll be yeah. arguing in the audience like, ooh, <laughs> ooh damn. Ooh, don't do it, Mendeecees. Ooh, <laughs> no. Don't hear the car to be. Oh, Lord Jesus. The audience be on some coon shit. I forgot about Man Dizzy. Do yeah. you know him? I think it was fake when Jocelyn got up and whooped all of them. No, that wasn't fake. That's yeah, what I'm yeah. saying. That's how, okay, yeah, let me that's tell you how A1 was going there. No, let me tell you yeah. one thing about Love and Hip Hop. Some of it's scripted, but half of that shit be real in real life. Yeah, no, it be yeah. crazy. I think they just. That should be real. Uh, sometimes. You know. I think they, they just guide the, real the conversation. With the fake. Yeah, they, they guide the, the conversation. The, the producers say, oh, come in and say this and say that. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. That Lord. That's hilarious, man. Lord, but yeah, I got to I gotta start watching. I got to start yeah, watching. Yeah, you got to watch Because I got season. bored with Atlanta, Atlanta season. Yeah. I, 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 don't, even, I don't know who half the folks honestly, were. It's so bad. Yeah, Atlanta, it's so, yeah, I can't believe how bad. It, with Stevie J and Jocelyn left, I'm sorry. It's yeah, it, it got real bad. They got all these random people. Like, my name is Jenny. <laughs> I, I rap down here in Atlanta. And they can't talk for shit. They all got yeah. the same fucking lace front on. It's like, who the fuck are these people? <laughs> I'm in the studio. <laughs> all right. <laughs> so, yeah, I got to look at the, the new season. Yeah, the um, new, yeah. The, the Hollywood is, looks yeah. really Is Monice good. on there, Monice? Yeah, she, she tried to throw a Princess, while she was pregnant, wow, the hello pregnant. skinny ass Monice is this big, and she had a chair the same size as her <laughs> trying to throw it at my uh, princess. Pregnant girl, I'm like, who fights a, throws a chair at a pregnant girl? I would have bopped her dead in her forehead. Man, there's man. no way you can't get that mad when you fighting a pregnant person. Man. Man. And I hope oh, I hope Lord. princess take care of her when she had a baby. She had the baby. Yeah, yeah she had that baby. Need somebody to lay her ass out. Somebody was the best part of City Lights video was Bree titties. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so random. First the, of all, the, the City Light video, Bree looks so funny. The way Bree's so face funny. was, the way she was, it was looking so stank on the corner dancing, <laughs> bopping your titties. With this damn <laughs> Easter outfit on. I had on all these pastels, standing on Hollywood. I was so irritated. I'm like, why the hell didn't he tell us what we were doing? Lord. I know, we looked like we were all going to three different parties. I know. Me, you, I looked like I was going to the whole stroll. Yes. Like, my outfit was straight. Just oh my God. trashy. And yeah. I kind of had a whole stroll outfit and I yeah. could have put it on, but I came looking all classic. Man. And that, it was like, nah. It was funny, but we made it work. And the director, he was like, okay, you guys run after the car. Yeah, was- and Layla start running in the <laughs> hills. I'm dying laughing. I'm like. <laughs> that shit was, was so up. random. Because he was telling us to run. We're like,
like, why the fuck are, are we, we running? running? I'm like, why are they running to the car, Ron? That don't really make no sense. He just throw out all types of yeah, ideas. Yeah, he do. Okay, okay, okay. Twerk over there by the McDonald's. Damn. Center. I mean, yeah. like, Stand over here in this corner and twerk. I was like, what? <laughs> I don't know where his vision is coming from. I'm like, oh. yeah, because a lot of stuff we didn't even use. Some of the stuff at the house. We had one girl, you know, the one girl at the house. Yeah, she wasn't in it. We had to because the ball girl. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because oh, she it, was a um, elite, one of the leads. Yeah, one well, the she was just one of the dancers, but it just didn't fit for the whole thing. So we had oh, to, y'all edited yeah, the girl yeah, out. Yeah, we had to because it just didn't fit with the storyline and oh. the director because he had her doing like a twerking solo. He was like, okay, let's just hike it up a little higher. There you go. <laughs> and we didn't use none of that. <laughs> That's so, it was Man. so random. They had a girl twerking for no fucking reason. I know, I know, I know. I ran into your lead um, over the weekend. Oh, what did oh, you see did? her? Uh, we both worked the Insecure Fest. Oh, how was that? Oh, yeah. That shit was dope. Hey, y'all. What'd you do? What'd you do? The Insecure Fest was dope as shit. Like, for real. It was, There was free drinks, free food. There was games. Mm. There were performances. Uh, Two Chains. Um, they premiered the first se- the first episode of the next season. Like, it was dope. All of the um, cast was there. A lot of different celebrities were there. It was really, really dope. But you know what I realized? Like, people, the, this VIP situation... <laughs> Mm. Oh Lord! Oh, Lord, do tell. Oh, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm oh. sorry for yelling. Mm-hmm. But all of the people who you expect to be VIPs, like, okay, so do you guys? You know, you know who Melanie F- Fiona is. Yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. She was there. Um, Evelyn Lozada's daughter was there. Mm-hmm. It was a, a couple different people. Like you see them and you know exactly who they are and you know that you know what they've done. Right. And then you have these IG that got a lot of followers. Oh, and mm. they, where's VIP? Oh, I can't go in through this regular line. Oh, I need to go in through the VIP. The IG folks? Yes, and yeah. Melanie Fiona wasn't even acting like that. It was like, oh, you know, you get this band. She wasn't asking for no extra bands and all of that shit. And it's just like, these IG people is ridiculous. Yeah, wow. they, these IG people are gay. I'm talking about, yeah, they shit. wouldn't even walk through the regular gate. Oh, no, I'm You're not supposed lying. to be on this side. We, we, they not letting nobody else in nowhere else but right here. So where mm. do you think Oh, you're they going? thought they had two different sides and they didn't? Well, they did, but it was for Issa and her, right, and her like, cast. Right. Like, real VIPs. Like, who are you? <laughs> I don't Wait, know you. Could, you. could you say, you can't say no names, huh? Was, is, is he, was it any IG people that you recognize or people just said, oh, these are IG people? No, I, I Oh, I you did? Okay, them, you know, yeah. I know you tell mm. me. You tell me later. Mm. <laughs> tell no, us now. I'm Let's nosy, get that thing on No, 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 no. Like, you're gonna trash him. Like kinda. Jay Versace needs champagne at his <laughs> table, you know that type of shit. <laughs> yes, literally. Like no way. Wow, wow. The VIP situation was crazy, and the and the crazy thing about it was, this would be VIP. This is regular people. Mm. What is the difference? Yeah. Have Damn. a seat, <laughs> sir. Man, 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 man. man. <laughs> shit. Wait, did you get to see Issa? I did. And, oh, yeah, did you, okay. Did you, would, did you get like closer where you could like have a conversation? Well, and, like hey, it, it wasn't a conversation type of atmosphere. Like, oh, like, right, it okay. was like a quick okay. hey, how gotcha, you doing? Gotcha, I love gotcha. your show. Okay. Um, yeah. yeah, and all of them were there. Jay was not there though. Lawrence, mm. the male lead character. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I just so, started, so. Oh yeah. So I just started. I'm catching up. Season. I'm almost there. Sorry. I'm mm. almost there. He's not gonna be on the next season. Sorry to ruin it for you. Oh yeah, I did. I know. I did see that on the blogs though, and I was like, okay. Oh yeah. damn! Yeah, damn, said it. damn, damn! They wrote him out for like no apparent reason, really. Oh wow, wow, wow! Well, yeah, I don't give up too many spoilers. I want to see what the hell. Yeah. You ask the, Did you watch Insecure? I do. I watch he it. Watched, I watch okay. it. Yeah, the show. Yeah, I like the show. The show is pretty good. Show. Yeah, yeah. Have you guys been watching Power though? You know what? I'm so mad that I haven't. I just had a lot going on the last past week, but I need to catch nigga up. Nigga explaining. Here's some nigga explaining. No nigga shit, explaining. Tariq. You know that's my show. Layla. So you know if I ain't watched it, I have a lot going on right now. But I'm going home, and I'm I'm two episodes behind Tariq. I'm so upset. Man. I'm two episodes I'm, behind as well, but I heard they getting pretty damn. Damn it. Lame. I need to see it. Oh, my yeah. God. I'm have go you watched right now. it? What? A power? Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Don't so spoil is it. Getting, is it getting lame, though? No. Like People are saying like the storyline is it's getting dragging. Lame. Yeah, that's what a lot of people are saying. Really? No, they're, they're taking their time. You know, kind of setting up everything, but it, it's you know you just gotta follow it because it's the thing is a lot of stuff you forget. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And they what I will complain they have a bad way of reminding people of who's who because they'll start talking about somebody from last season and you don't like, remember because remember power oh. there's a long drag before the shit comes back on air so you right. forgot about um, all of these other little kingpins here and there so you you just have to be re reminded of it but it's still good it's it's real good I like Loren <laughs> Tate's character. You yeah, know, he, didn't care. he, look, he definitely that nigga. Not well, age. that nigga drinks vampire blood or some hey, shit. Hey, that hey, nigga hey. said she ran into him in the beauty supply. <laughs> what was he in the valley? <laughs> what is he doing? At the beauty she was supply? like, he was in there looking for cream of nature and they're asking him to. <laughs> 
Y'all does does that make you look that damn young? Give me some cream of fucking nature. <laughs> that nigga put it on his skin. What the fuck that nigga do? I'm like, girl, I would have jumped on that nigga. So young. Give me the products that nigga use. <laughs> yeah. Cream some, of nature. Some Nivea, whatever. <laughs> Cream of nature. I'm cream giving of nature. you the secret. What's cream of nature? What is that? It's, it's like, like cream of weed. It's like it's a hair. Your hair? It's, yes. Yeah. yeah. It's for your hair. <laughs> <laughs> it's so stupid. But he could put you it on You come in here with cream of nature slapped across your face. <laughs> <laughs> Lord have mercy. Cream of nature. Hilarious. So <laughs> Let's not put that man's business out there. We don't know what he's- Ain't no wrong with cream of nature. <laughs> no, no. He, he might be using that for That's something else. Juices and berries. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what's beauty supplies? I goes out. No. Oh, no, my God. Just trying to creep on that man. He's He's married. Man, man, man. I want to take a call. We can't take a call. Yeah, let's let's see because the phone lines, you know. That shit going to be like, bang, bang, bang. I know. <laughs> bang, bang, bang. I feel like I get loud Let's, let's see who we got on the phone. Let me let me turn the phone lines on real quick, family, because, again, with Skype, they don't allow you, for some reason, to turn the sounds off. So That's so crazy. I don't know why the new Skype Damn. doesn't let you turn the sounds off. But, all right, the phone number is 818. There we go, shit. There we go. What's up? Who's calling? What's up? It's Mark from Canton. Mark, Mark from where? Canton, Canton, Ohio. There you go. What's on your mind, brother? I ain't that much, man. I seen that City Lights video. Much, That's what's up, man. Much respect, brother. Did you get the album? You know? No, I ain't get the album yet. My money kind of funny, but I, I get it next Friday when I get paid. You ain't got nine dollars. <laughs> 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 it's nine dollars, my nigga. This ain't some shit you gotta take out a loan for, goddamn it! It's nine fucking dollars. You got nine dollars, man. Have it. This he gonna wait till my he money look funny. What I gotta do? Get I gotta move this weight a little paid. bit. I got a shipment coming in from Colombia. Like, I'm gonna break it down and flip it. And once I break that down and get my street team on the corner, I'm gonna go yeah, ahead and get that. Nigga. <laughs> oh my god! This nigga sound like Pablo Escobar. It's a nine dollar fucking album, my nigga. Shit, go to iTunes and just download it. Just push a button twice and you'll get it, brother. <laughs> All right, thanks for the call. Oh, Niggas always so goddamn extra with little shit. I know, My, nine dollars. It's nine dollars. Me and Bree supported for the nine. I uh, know, man. That's, oh, sure, that's sure. what, half a blunt? How much do blunts cost right. these days? <laughs> Bree, you're a blunt smoker. How much do blunts cost? <laughs> <laughs> He's putting your business. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> they cost $10. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, don't sit here I gotta, you don't know the price oh, like, excuse me price I get mine for free niggas be Daddy, paper for me you do not hear this dad, <laughs> dad. man man so Bree what else is happening in the news before we get man, up out of here man I'm looking for something going on in the news what else is going know, on in the news else? throw us something um, Layla one of y'all throw us I'm something give us one I last it was a little dry I know man. one last story before we get out of here no you dig any more uh Man. Okay, so this was from last week, though. We, I mean, it's probably nothing. I'm going to just throw this out here. Drake and Lala seen out on a date, but that probably ain't shit. What? Yeah, Drake and who? Uh, Lala. Lala, Lala M Anthony. M M out in uh, New Orleans. Remember it was Essence Fest? What, okay, were they on a date? Or just, what just people, out kicking? No, people were just saying that they they were spotted out having dinner, and that the paparazzi caught them. Oh, damn. And they said they really don't know what it was, but they were definitely out what's going, having dinner. I, what's going on with her and Melo? Are they, what's the deal? I believe that... They're not. This is my opinion because every time she speaks, they're like, "Okay, so if Melo goes to another state, are you gonna go?" And she was like, "No, I'm in New York because my job is in New York." Okay. That don't sound like the, that you with him. Mm. That's just my opinion. Mm. Like if my mm. husband is moving to wherever his like if Houston or whatever because there's talks of him moving to Houston or whatever, then you should go with him. If you're together, if you're not, if you're like, "Oh my job, power only tapes," you know yeah. what? Six months and then you're done, or yeah. however long, and then you can live wherever you want to live. You know, is power the only thing she got going on? Like, uh, she, yeah, well, yeah, I mean, yeah she probably, like, yeah. That probably spent her into a gang well, of Well, maybe shit. there's airplanes. There's plenty of people that live wherever they want to live. Right. Just first fly. of all, she, I think she's just trying to talk some big willy shit. She gonna move where that man. Of you course. Think so? Hell yeah. yeah. Like yeah. she's very that's quiet though. Right, right. What's so going are on. they are they separated legally? Separated? Well, no, they they were. She did say they were separated before. She said they were separated, but then it was like they kept being spotted together, which means nothing because they have a kid together. Right, 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 right. So right. it's just, she just left it like us hanging. We have no idea. But that's wow. just like the same thing with Fabulous and Emily. Like, they keep dressing alike, 
popping up together. Same yes. thing with T.I. and Tiny. Yeah, you know? exactly. Right, yeah, because so he what, just, Tiny just got a car. T.I. Yeah, just got you a car. Thank you, baby. You know, that yeah. type of shit. So you don't know. So you so never you know. stay out these people being selected. Yeah. Them. But yeah. you know what I be thinking nowadays? I really think, and I'm starting to just think that these millennial folks, I just have open relationships. That's what I'm starting mm. to think. Mm. I mean really, millennial. All them old ass people we was just talking about. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like I know. Well, they just, or, or the millennium. Like, the millennium has brought these people to think that it's just, it's Whatever it is is what it is. That's the vibe I'm getting right and, now. And That's the vibe, period. Yeah. Like be, you very seldomly run into like monogamous marriages or you know, people that are like committed to one person. Yeah. It's always people that say, Oh, do you have a girlfriend? I got a situation. Yeah. Nigga, yeah. you got a girlfriend or not. Like, what the <laughs> hell? Like, you know what I mean? I hate yeah, the whole no question mark man. situation. Why is that happening I right don't now? Know. But anyway, y'all, Another that is it. We're about to get up out of here. Layla, what you got up for this week, weekend? What y'all got Um, going? Uh, It's my baby's birthday. Oh, cool. Oh, my God. You're not getting Kim Kardashian when we start leaving. Like, yeah, it's my yeah. baby's birthday on Saturday. Oh, my, cool. Uh, Mike go to Disneyland. Oh, cool. Why, why don't I get an invite to your baby's birthday? Oh, you know, I don't know what I'm doing yet, but you will get an invite. I don't oh, know. What I, she sounds like she lying. I really no, no, don't. No, I, I really know. If I do a party, I'm inviting you, too, because you got no, kids, too. No doubt. Absolutely. So if I do a party, I, don't even got no kids. Um, no. I definitely want to do something. And I will invite you guys. I just don't know what I'm doing yet. It's kind of like I had a lot going on. But um, oh, also, guys, I'm very proud to say that I am launching back my YouTube channel, which I did last week by yeah. myself because I had whoop, whoop. Layla Brandy live. Remember? Yeah. And everybody kept asking me like, yo, if look, if y'all and Brandy can't figure out the times and do it together, why don't y'all do it separately? Mm. And then people kept asking for it. So I will be going live every Tuesday at 7 p.m. Cool. Tonight by myself because I've been preaching about that a lot. And what's the YouTube channel? It's now I changed it to Layla Lopez Live. Oh, cool. Yeah, we're going to cool. be talking about the same thing. All kind of either hot topics, relationship stuff, and um, uh, dating. All that kind of stuff. Was, you know, was your show shit, together? Shit. It was on Tuesdays? The it last was. Oh, it was. Okay. Two, actually, me and, me and Brandy did Tuesdays and Wednesdays. We did two days. Oh, y'all and so people kept asking y'all beef and y'all was like hell no we not beef mm. I turn that girl all the time it's just that our schedule right well, how's is, Brandy have you talked to her how, you know she's good I talked to her last week okay, she's totally cool. she's good she's good she has a lot going on as well with her yeah. family and stuff yeah I talked to her then when that happened with her um, right, I mean right, with right. her uh, grandfather yeah, and yeah. stuff yeah but yeah no she's totally fine cool cool but good. y'all tune into that and, and Bree what you got going on um mm, I'm gonna be working in the gym. Working and twerking. Mm-hmm. Working. You don't invite me to the gym. Nigga. We don't invite have this me. We don't invite me nowhere. Lord. But Brie, I will give you this. You know, Brie hit me up the other day, and I was so excited. Uh, Brie was trying to take me on a date. Oh, damn. To, to get sushi. Oh, shit. She was like, hey, hey, boo, I want to take you on a date to get sushi. Is sushi a metaphor for something, or is it <laughs> actual the, sushi? It, hell the hell oh, okay, no. just asking. Just, first of all. Just asking for a friend. First one. of all. <laughs> Layla, Layla wants somebody to take her on a date so bad. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I'm looking. <laughs> <laughs> she I was did. searching for a, a she sushi She was searching for a sushi date. I was just trying to say, like, if I win, you paying right. Oh, <laughs> Lord. <laughs> just, just like real niggas. It <laughs> takes some finesse. She thinks she's a finesse Brie. queen. She was trying to I finesse her some damn. Finesse her some sushi. Some, some raw fish. Some halibut. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna come in a tight dress and everything. Like, Bree, you gonna pay for my food, girl? Uh, you see this, buddy? Uh, <laughs> Both of y'all gonna try to thot your way into a free meal. <laughs> <laughs> Layla no, ass gonna be money. out, Brie titties out. Who paying? Who paying? You paying? Me paying? <laughs> I have my coins ready. <laughs> Man, oh, anyway, Lord. y'all, we about to get up out of here. Layla, where can we find you on the gram? Miss Layla Lopez, M S L A I L A L O P E Z. And where can we find Miss Bree? I'm at it's Bree Small I T S B R I S M A L L, and I want to say shout out to Jazz Smith 304 for sending us these shirts. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. It does. I love also it. Films and entertainment. Oh yeah, let me show mine. Yes. I'm looking like a Yes, yes. I'm looking like it's a so right cute. Cute shirts. The skin I'm in. Yes, indeed. Oh, look at Layla being thoughty. Stand up, Layla. Know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Stand up, Layla. Oh. What? Am I set it up? Oh. Yeah. Oh. Put it. Woo! Oh, there you go. Look at Layla. Got the woo! tan legs. Woo! 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 <laughs> we like it. Hey. We like it. Hey. Hey. Wait, no. Stand up. Wait, yeah, Bree, you stand, stand up, Bree. No, I ain't stand up. I ain't stand up all the time. I ain't stand up. Let's get Bree. Come on, Bree. Come on, Bree. Come on, Bree. I'm Don Cornelius, and welcome to Thought Train. We're on the Thought Train. <laughs> we'll be right back on the Thought Train. We're going to have a Thought Train scramble board <laughs> coming up next. <laughs> 
the word of the day is stank. <laughs> you gotta. <laughs> 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 All right, y'all. We out of here. Follow me on Instagram at Tariq Elite, guys.